Hello friends, I'm Karina Chin with KarinasCreations.com and I want to welcome you today to my Facebook Live. I'm so excited to be here because I have designed three projects based around one of the celebration stamp sets called Corner Bouquet. So I just thought it would be fun to share some simple techniques that you can do with a couple stamp sets today. So this is what I came up with. There's this project, and then this is just a simple fancy fold, and this is also a technique. So let's just wait till some people come on. I see Joy is here, Gail's here. Hello, hello. Thank you for watching me today. Uh, before I start, I always like to make some announcements. Um, I see Bilkis is here. Hello, Bilkis. Um, whenever people like or share my video, or you can start a watch party, that's something new to invite people to come watch today, I will enter your name into a draw. And what I'm doing is sending out cards from last week. So last week, the names I drew was Stella will get a card and then Ann Clender will get a card. Now Ann actually responded on my YouTube channel. She left a comment so I added her name to, into the draw and she won this time. So you can also watch the replay after and leave a comment as well. And then this is one of the cards I'll be sending and then of course the chicken card from last week. So kind of fun. I thought I would change it up a little bit. And then celebration is on for only two more weeks. So make sure you stock up and get your stuff. Whenever you spend $60, hello, Brenda. Whenever you spend $60, you get something for free. When you spend $120, you get another two items for free. So it's a fantastic deal. And of course, I will share the corner bouquet stamp set with you. Let me just quickly show you before I get into these and then I'll show you my two classes. So this is the flower and field designer series paper, which I used on this card. This could be a free item that you could get. Paper pack, paper blooms designer series paper is another free celebration item. Aren't the colors in this just beautiful? You could also get the Oh So Ombre designer series paper with a $60 order. And then there's a bunch of stamp sets. So the stamp sets include, uh, includes the donkey. You got to get the donkey. I, I'm saying that's, that's my favorite. Corner bouquet, which I'm showing you today because I don't think the samples in here did a very good job. This is a beautiful stamp set. Approaching perfection, which is really fun. It's got kind of punny sayings, if you get what I mean. Come on, that was kind of, that was kind of funny, right? Sort of. And then a touch of ink, which I love, but this is you get free with a $120 order. And then this Berry Blessing stamp set and designer series paper for free. Now I'm going to be doing a draw for this at the end of the month for people who place orders during the month. Um, and you may actually win this stamp set and the paper. And even if you own the stamp set, you're going to want more paper because look how beautiful it is. I love, love, love this. And of course, if you win this, you're going to want the strawberry stamp set and the strawberry punch that kind of coordinate with it, right? Okay, so I just wanted to do that really quickly. Now, before I get into my demonstration today, I want to share with you a couple classes I've got coming up. First of all, this was a bit of a goof up, you guys. So I'm calling this my cheap chicken class. Let me show you the cards. It's cheap chicken because I, I mispriced it. So whoever gets this will get it for a steal of a deal. It's going to be free with a $35 order or $25. And these are the cards. It's called my Cards That Move class. This little guy, I'm waiting for some more wire. He will wiggle and he will dance. Okay, and it's all based around the ice cream designer series paper. Now, I know that's not the right name, but you get what I mean, right? So this is one of the cards. This one, you will get a little template for the barn with the coordinating roof. And I just thought he was kind of cute, right? And then there's this one. And then this one, if you were a new stamper, don't be scared because there's an easy version and an advanced version. So let me show you the advanced version. Okay, that is what it is. So kind of a fun card. I have a lot of advanced stampers, so I like to at least include one card that will give them a challenge. And I will include the template for this. And if you're a new stamper, 
you just leave this part out and you just have a nice little sentiment and stamp a chicken on the inside. So don't let this card scare you. It's really not that hard. So this is my official cheap chicken class. It's going to be on Friday... February 26th at 7 p.m. at night. Now, I will do PDF tutorial and the class will be recorded. So if you like to just stamp on your own and watch the video later, you can absolutely do that. Uh, hello, Deneen. How are you? Don't you love that card, Brenda? I know I was so excited. But I was even more excited that I came up with a barn. Right? That was that I think that I don't want to tell you how long that barn took me. Anyway, and other demonstrators are welcome to take my class. So if you're not a customer, you're a demo, you are welcome to take the class too. So don't feel like you can't. I welcome everybody. Okay, so that's my cheap chicken class, aka cards that move chicken class. And then are there any scrapbookers watching today? I am starting a new scrapbook class where I am designing a two-page layout. The cost is $45. You will get product in the mail directly from Stampin' Up! And then I will send you the pieces to complete the two pages. Plus, you will have access to eight more two-by-two two scrapbooking pages. So it's a private Facebook group. I'm doing this in conjunction with three other demonstrators. We're each designing a two-page layout each. So that's times four. Um, I also did a one-page layout and then a card as well. And I think the other ladies did too. So we're calling this Sweetly Scrapped. If you want to get in on it, let me know. We're just starting it out. This is my two-page layout. So this is what you would get from me. I would send you the mats. I would send you the little die-cut pieces, the embellishments and the ribbon to complete these two pages. Uh, you would need the, what is it called? In Good Taste? Nope, that's not what it's called. I use the Enjoy the Moment stamp set, so you would have to add that on if you wanted to make the page exactly like I did. This will be in the Facebook page. This is my alternate layout. So I will do for you a separate video on how to put this page together, and then you will have access to all those other ideas, all down around the same designer series paper and uh, the little bits to make your card. So it's going to be a really fun uh, really good value class because it's not just two pages you're actually getting eight so I just wanted to announce that if you're interested leave me a message or send me an email I haven't even announced it yet um, bugs are still being worked out but I think I've got it finalized now and you should see the other designs in that group it's pretty fun Okay, I think that's all I wanted to mention. Oh, I do want to mention, did anybody get the starter kit yet? If you are new and have gotten the starter kit, the starter kit for Stampin' Up! is $135. You get $165 in product plus 200 sheets of cardstock. Right? I haven't even played with this yet. I keep saying that. It's been a month and I haven't played with this yet. Right? This is what it looks like. Oh, not this one. These ones. And then you get $165 in product, no shipping, no GST. And on all future orders, you get a 20% discount. So that's like getting your stuff at wholesale every single time. And then tomorrow, you go in at 9 a.m. on the website and sign up for On Tour. Stampin' Up! is holding an event called On Tour. You have to have a demo number. It's going to be super fun. It's only $45 to go, and it's going to be all online. You get a stamp set, and you get the new catalog, the new annual catalog before anybody else. So that alone for me is worth $45, plus a stamp set. Like, that's practically free. So I just wanted to mention that. If you don't know how to get a starter kit, you can go to... Um, https karinachin.stampinup.net click the join now button and or call me and I will walk you through it step by step and get you all set up uh, the other thing is today if you wanted to place an order you can go to karinachin.stampinup.net this is the February hostess code h-t-e-y-p-d-m-2 and my special right now is I'm doing a draw for that strawberry paper and stamp set. And if you're ordering more than $100, I'll throw in a package of pearls for you as well. Okay, I think I'm done all my talking. Oh, yeah. And when you get the starter kit, you get to be part of our group. And these were the cards we made at the group meeting. And I send out the PDF tutorials too uh, so that you always have a class that you can... Um, 
make some cards for. And they're not that hard, but they are super cute. And this uses a free, um, what is it? Field, Flower and Field Designer Series paper. That's a celebration item. So that is super fun too. Okay, I think I'm ready to get stamping. I love stamping, you guys. I just love it, love it. And I get so excited when I get to share it with you. So which card should we start with? I think we should start with this one because this is the easiest. So the technique with this is just sort of a simple masking technique. I am featuring the stamp set Vine Design. I am surprised how much I love this. I love the font. I love the sayings. I love this. And um, I haven't really played with this as much as I should, but it's got these really cool dies. So you could get this as a bundle and then get your corner bouquet stamp set for free today to make this stuff. As well, if you wanted to, if you're ordering net from now until Sunday and you place a $60 order, besides getting this, I will also send you these three card kits. Now you're gonna have to have the embossing powder or use whatever you have, but you'll have uh, the three cards to make, or the three kits to make these cards. So that is my special right now. And I'll put this away. And I think I'm ready to get started. So I just have to find my kit. Oh, okay. I went and changed the color. That's okay. I'm not going to change the color. I'm going back to Highland Heather. I noticed I brought balmy blue out, but the ink is uh, not behind me. So we're just going to change it up a little bit. Okay. So we need this. We need one of these. And then we need one of these, and I'm going to show you how to create this super cute card. So this is more of a beginner card because you don't need embossing guns. You don't need embossing powder. Super easy, but really cute card. Okay, so what I did, this is a post-it note that I just got from Staples. I trimmed off the top of it with my paper trimmer, and it's one inch by four inches wide. And then what I'm going to do is take my corner bouquet stamp set and instead of using the stamp like this, I'm going to use it this way. And we're going to stamp it like this. So, and what I'm doing is I'm masking off this area because that is where my sentiment is going to go. So I'm using Highland Heather ink. I was going to show you balmy blue, but like I said, I, uh, it's over across the room. So that's too much effort to get, and I haven't been working out, so I think if I tried to do a roll or something over my desktop, I would seriously hurt myself. So that is not happening today, let me just say. Okay, so did you notice how I inked that up, if you're new? The stamp is almost bigger than my ink pad, so when I lay it on my surface and go like this, I can control how much ink I got on it. Now you have to be careful because I was talking a little too much and got an edge. I really don't like edges, so now I have to be very careful when I go to stamp this or I will be sad. And I don't wanna be sad. Okay, so that's one image. And then we're gonna do the same thing, so carefully ink it up. Don't rock your ink pad or you catch more of an edge. We don't like edges, or at least I don't like edges. Okay, and then, oh, I got a smear, but that's okay. We're going to cover this up, right? And then I'll do the same thing on this side. And I'm just going to give it a nice flat press. Okay, and now I'll reveal the magic. I have this nice masked off piece. Now, there's two ways I could do this. I could get a black Stampin' Right marker and a ruler and just draw two lines. What I did instead is, I didn't think my hand was that steady, so I'm actually just cut two tiny pieces of um, cardstock, and I'm going to attach that with my liquid glue. I really like this green glue, but you gotta be careful. Can you see how little I'm putting on? How's my light over here today? It's uh, kind of, it's sunny out. It's a little bit dark in my office right now. Okay, let's see here. I will put this down like so. And then I'll do the same one on the other side. And like I said, this is my beginner card because this is just pretty much paper and ink. So anybody can make this. 
and the post-it notes were not that expensive. In fact, Staples delivers, so I don't even have to leave my house, which is a win-win, because what are we, minus 26 today? I'm in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, and it's way too cold this week. I love living in Alberta, but I do not like anything below minus 20. Okay, so doesn't that look nice already and I've barely done anything? Now look at these nice sayings. I could actually stamp this little label piece, stamp inside. I could stamp congratulations with sympathy. I'm just going to use thinking of you. And I don't know, I love the font. I think this is just really pretty. Okay, hopefully this worked. Okay, so that's it. So all I'm going to do is just mount this really fast. Um, if you're new, you want to make sure that you invest in a Stampin' Up! paper trimmer because the scoring blade, so this is the cutting blade, this is a scoring blade. Um, if I line this up at four and a quarter inches, right, it gives a really nice scored line. And I like to put the bump in. I don't know, everybody's different. That's just what I do. Okay, and then I can take... My bone folder makes a really nice crisp crease. And then I've just cut this at, so this is four inches by five and a quarter. So this must be four and one eighth by five and three eighths of an inch. I kind of say that with a question mark. I think so. I think so, I think so, I think so. Okay, here we go. Okay, you guys don't want me to sing. Trust me, you do not want me to sing. Okay, so let's put this card base together. You can see how fast this is coming together. And then all my cards today are based around the pastel pearls, which are from the Hydrangea product suite, which is my favorite. See, doesn't that look better? I thought this was too thick when I made this card. Um, and then Stampin' Up! has these pastel pearls that actually coordinate with the Hydrangea suite. Where's my hydrangea card? I don't know. It's walked away. Let's see. No, here it is. This is a hydrangea hill designer series paper, and it has matching ribbon and matching pearls that coordinate with it. I did a really pretty scrapbook page with that as well. I'm starting to get back into scrapbooking. I haven't done it for a while, so it's kind of fun. Okay, so that is my easy beginner card using a very simple masking technique. Okay, so let's set that aside and I need to clean my stamp because I'm going to use the Stamparatus on the next two projects. So the Stamparatus is, um, it's a stamp positioning tool and because it's celebration right now, it's a great time to buy it. I think it's around $60. I don't know for sure. Don't hold me to that. But uh, we're going to use it on my next card. Now, when you go to pull these off the block, this is a new stamp for me. You got to get your nail under it to kind of peel it back. Otherwise, you're going to peel the rubber from the foam and you don't want to do that. Oh, let's see who else is here. Michelle's here. Hello, Michelle. I hope you liked your tutorial that you bought the other day. Joy shared. Thank you, Leona. Hello. Oh, Leona, you got the kits. If Leona, if you have troubles putting the cards together, give me a call. Donna's here. Hello, Joanne's here. Kim's here. Oh my gosh, you guys. I am, can't believe all my friends are here now. This just makes my day. Just because I do love stamping with my friends. This is the whole reason I stamp and why I started stamping. Because um, I needed friends who love stamping as much as I did. Okay, now I'm looking for my Stamparatus and it's right here. Now I have to, before I forget, I have to show you something. Is Bilkis still on here? Look at Bilkis got me. This is the best. Okay, this is for when I have to clean up my embossing powder. It's a vacuum. Oh my gosh, is that not the cutest thing? So I'll use that to get rid of the embossing powder that I'm gonna be using right away. But I wanted to show you before in case I forget about that because it is super cute, seriously cute. Okay, so this is the Stamparatus. It comes with two plates. You simply peel off your, uh, peel off your stamp, stick it to a plate. It kind of works the same as a, it works the same as a clear, as a clear block. Okay, so I'm just going to use this because I need something under it to help stabilize the plate. What I have done is pre-line this up. We'll just do this again really quick. I want this here. 
You just give it a nice press. And I have lined it up in here. And I made little marks in the corner because it's going to fit my next card that I'm going to do. So I just know I want to line it up on this side. Um, I need some Versamark ink. As I'm looking around, here it is. Now, I recently went and inked this up. It, it's, it was pretty dry. So the nice thing is that Stampin' Up! actually sells refills for the Versamark pad. So I always have, you know, one or two. Well, maybe you should get three or four, keep it on hand. You know, depends how much stamping you do. And what I like is that when I press down, I can't tell, you know what, that might be enough, but let's make sure. So let's do this again. And then I'm just gonna go a second time. Okay, and then I'm getting my heat tool. Oh, and I only have my old heat tool, but that's okay. You guys will get the idea. Now what I'm gonna do is put this in my Whisper White embossing powder. And I like to keep mine in a little Ziploc container because it just helps control my mess. I'm actually stamping, I have a rug in my craft room. I've got glue on it, I don't know. I try to clean it as, or keep it as clean as possible. Okay, and I have a little bit of leftover flecks of powder, but you know what, I'm not gonna worry about that. You can take a paintbrush and clear it off. Um, I'm not gonna bother. Uh, we should be good to go. Okay, so then all I'm gonna do is pull in my heat tool. You hold it in one place until it melts. Don't burn your finger. Someone asked me one time if a hair dryer will work. No, I don't think it will. Just saying. In my opinion, I don't think so. Okay, now what I'm doing is I'm getting some Stampin' Blends. They come in two colors. They have a light and a dark. I'm using Rococo Rose and Just Jade. Now, this is my other tip that I forgot to mention earlier. Every year, Stampin' Up! comes out with five new colors. And then they retire five new colors. So the retiring colors that are going to be retiring are Rococo Rose, Purple Posy, Seaside Spray, terracotta tile and pretty peacock if you own any of those colors i strongly recommend that you buy ink refills for your for your um, ink pads and paper because once the new catalog comes out and the retired list comes out they're usually sold out within days Okay, and then you can also get the coordinating stamping blends in these colors as well and so i'm going to do the lighter color I did darker Just Jade, but it kind of looks like garden green to me. This kind of looks like mint macar macaroon. And uh, I'm just going to color it thickly. I'd take more care if uh, you guys weren't watching me, but you don't want to sit here and watch me color all day, do you? Maybe you do. I don't know. I don't know. It's cold outside. Where else are you going to go today? I do have to drop off um, a card kit for someone. For Joy, if Joy is on here, I can't remember if I said hi to you. I'm dropping your card kit off today, so I'll, I will uh, brave the weather. For the cactus class, Trisha dropped off her stuff last night. We're so excited about the cactus class we're doing this, this Saturday. I absolutely love the projects that we came up with. Um, so I will drop that kit off for you because tomorrow there's also Wednesday card class as well. So... Um, after this video, after I upload it, I'm going to hop in my car and uh, drive to your place. Okay, there we go. Now, can you see that? Isn't that a cool technique? Seriously, anybody know what this is called? If you know what it's called, write it in the chat. I have no clue what it's called, but it's pretty cute, hey? And then what I did was wrap some baker's twine, because we have snail mail baker's twine around here. And you can see how easy that was to do. Even beginner stampers, if they buy white and clear embossing powder and a heat tool, um, I think the heat tool's around 40, you know, and a stamp set, that would get you around $60 to get this free set. It's very easy and it's a big wow technique to do embossing. 
and anybody can do it. Just make sure you don't burn your fingers because it hurts. Okay, and what I have done, I've done already for you so you don't have to watch me as I've used Thank You from Fine Designs, stamped it, and then I just die cut it out with my favorite dies. I use them all the time. Tasteful label dies. And then of course we need a little resin heart, right? Okay, so let's put this together really quick. Ooh, I went and splurged and got a new package of mini dimensionals. Brand spanking new. There we go. And then my card's almost done. So I'll show you how this goes together. This is really, really fast. So let's put this here. I vacuumed the other day and I found dimensional backings everywhere. I just had to laugh. I'm like, how on earth do they end up in my bed? That is a very good question. Where's the weirdest spot that you have found dimensional backings? I think that would actually be a great Facebook post, you know, on your cat, on your dog. You never know, right? Okay, so let's just set this aside and I will put this together. So my base is four and a quarter by five and a half. I'm using the free celebration field and flower designer series paper. I could actually do that. Nah, the fl I don't have yellow in here. It's not yellow. It's bumblebee. I got the name right. Finally, I kept calling it honeybee for like three months straight. And for me, that's a really hard habit to break. Okay. So let's just put this down. Oh no. Okay. Here we go, guys. Do you ever do that? Now I'm going to have the bumblebee flowers. Okay, I just have to laugh right now. Ha! Huh. Amy says the weirdest spot is in a litter box. You know what? I think if I had a dog or a cat, Amy, I could totally see that. Uh, I could. That's something I would do. Okay, this piece, now I have to put honeybee in here, you guys, because that's going to drive me crazy. Everything's got to coordinate. Um, I think this is, I don't know where my ruler is. Hold on. Oh, here's my handy dandy ruler. Three inches by eight and a half inches scored at four and a quarter. This design actually came from my friend, Joanne Rolston. Uh, she's in Camrose and uh, she gave me a really cute swap done with uh, the cactuses. And I thought, wow, this is such a fun, easy design but you know if you don't stamp it looks kind of like a wow card don't you think so thank you joanne for this okay seriously i cannot have honeybee on here with no with nothing on it so i will fix it later and then post it because i'm just going to stamp some little flowers because look at this i was kind of wondering what to do with this this little flower i can then stamp in here emboss it and we'll add some little sprinkling of honeybee on there and then i'll be happy see so this just goes to show that uh, you can make a mistake but still make it beautiful or i should say all mistakes are fixable right everything's fixable okay so we're done with this card you can see that didn't take me very long i think you could make 20 of these okay now who knows maybe you guys like this one better but like i said i've got to put some honeybee on here i do have honeybee ribbon that i'm using oh look at this ha <laughs> ha there we go you know we'll just put it under here Okay, I will doctor that up and then it anchors my card and now I'm happy. Ta-da! What do you think? Not bad, hey? Okay, that is card number two. Card number three. It's actually pretty simple. Um, where is it? Where is it? This is so pretty. I love this one. So I highly recommend if you have the stamp and cut and emboss machine that you invest in some embossing folders. And this is the Ornate Garden Embossing Folders. It's actually called, oh, I didn't write down the name of it. That's the product suite it came in, but I just thought that was pretty. Okay, so did you know that we can emboss with Memento Black ink? Now, it's a little tricky, but it can be done. Yeah, see, Lindsay, Bumblebee, Honeybee, Honeybee. I, you know what? I should just give up. I'm just going to call it Bumblebee, and you guys can just correct me every time. Because I'm okay with that. Okay. I just have to laugh at myself sometimes, right? Okay, let's move this. I need some space. 
We got some serious stamping going on, ladies. Serious stamping. Okay, so now we're going to get rid of that image. And I am lining up my basic white cardstock. It's no longer Whisper White. I'm going to line this up in the corner, uh, right about here. And then this way, if I wanted to make 10 cards, it's all lined up. But I'll show you why, because I want it to be really nice and black. I want a nice crisp image. Now I have to make sure I have my clear embossing powder ready, move my white so I can't accidentally grab it. And then here we go. Okay. So I hope this pad is juicy. Okay. Number one, I am just going to stamp it on here. Da -da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. Okay. There we go. Da -dum. See, that doesn't look very good, does it? No, it sure does not. So let's do it again. That's the beauty of the stamp positioning tool. Okay, here we go. And I see Lindsay's on here. Oh, I moved it. You know what? I'm just going to go with it. It'll still be not bad. That's what happens when I don't pay attention. Now I've got like a nice blurred effect. That's not what I'm going for, but that's okay. I want to show you how it embosses. And I noticed I missed a spot. Okay. Put it under here. Hold on. Can't you just see me blowing away all my embossing powder? Well, this is still going to look good, you guys. Okay, there we go. And it's all shiny. Okay, perfect. You can see it's kind of beady and shiny. With the light, it looks beautiful. And then what I'm going to do is make it even nicer. Now, oh, what is this? This is the brand new Butterfly Brilliance Bundle that I forgot to tell everybody about. When you have a starter kit number, you can get this before anybody else. It's available now with your starter kit number. And uh, I recommend the full meal deal because it's $97 and you get two packs of paper plus the dies plus the butterflies because I'd love to put a butterfly right there. Okay, I'm going to use the back of this because I uh, don't know where my stamp and grid paper is right now. And then I need my blending brushes. So I highly recommend these fantastic blending brushes. And I'm just going to start with um, Coastal Cabana. And you know what? Before I get stamping, let's stamp this happy birthday. I notice I have a happy birthday greeting on here. So let's go grab that before I forget. Because this is my last card. And let's put it on here. And we'll go like this. You should see the mess of my table normally looks like when I'm uh, stamping. Okay, now normally I'd put this on the Stamparatus and do it two times. But the way I'm wiggling my paper today, that would not look smeared. That would not look fun. This kind of looks like a cool effect, like I did that on purpose. Okay, so all I'm going to do is pick up some color. Right, and then we're just gonna go in. It starts better if you go off your paper and then on, then you don't have a big blob of ink. And I think I showed you before, if you don't wanna waste a lot of ink, you can just go like this. You know, pick up some color on your, on your uh, clear plate and then keep going. And then you don't have so much uh, color wastage ink wastage but you know an ink refill is five dollars so really it shouldn't really be an issue for me because when you're stamping up demonstrator you get uh, hostess rewards a lot of time on all your orders or if you have a private party you get the hostess rewards once you have um, an order of two hundred dollars that's when it kicks in so that's another benefit of either hosting your own party and I do do parties through Zoom. So if you have a couple girlfriends who want to try stamping, I've got a great kit everybody can get. 
Uh, we probably would not start with this card because you need a few supplies, but we could make an easy one. Okay, so I'm gonna start off and then you just kind of brush it on. Kind of reminds me of a giant toothbrush. Okay, there we go. This blurred effect, it kind of looks like I'm seeing double. Okay, whoever, whosever name I draw to win this card will get the nice one. Don't worry, I won't give you this one. I'll just make another one later, but the technique is the same. Okay, so now that is done, and then let's just put our card together. So you can actually wash these if you want, but I'm gonna keep a purple brush, a blue brush, a red brush, you know, a dark colored brush, and I'm never gonna clean them. Okay, so this one, um, I don't have an embossed, but I wonder if, you know what guys, let's do this and just try something new here, because this card's kind of already a little messed up, so this uh, will just play. Let's just create a background. I'm using Versamark ink in basic black. I'll just go like this. And then we'll just go in the middle. And this would be good because say you don't have the stamp and cut and emboss machine, right? And then you can see it kind of makes it shiny. It creates a bit of a background. And since we're doing embossing, let's just see what it looks like and then I'll finish this off. Now this is where I need my little clipboard because I probably would burn my fingers. Okay, here we go. Don't you like my official flick technique? It takes years to practice that. Okay, here we go. Let's emboss this. And if you don't have an embossing machine, let's see what this looks like. Okay, here we go. See, that's pretty cool. And then I'm just gonna emboss it really fast. Okay, there you go. Now, can you see that, how it's shiny? I thought that looks pretty good. Now, most of it's gonna get covered up, right? Ooh, look at this. We need my ladybug. I feel that, ooh, it kind of works. It's pretty good. Okay, that is so fun, isn't it? Everybody needs a ladybug. Don't ask me where it's from. It was a gift, so I have no idea. Uh, can you get the brushes wet? I got my brush wet, Brenda. I actually washed one of them. Um, so I don't know. That's a good question. Can anyone answer Brenda's question? Can we get the brushes wet? My solution is just buy 15 brushes in every single kind of color theme and then you don't have to worry about it because it's celebration. Um, that's what I'm gonna do, but um, we wash sponges, so I don't know. I don't know, does anybody know how many hairs are in these little Stampin' Up! brushes? There's gotta be a lot. It is really, they're really, really fine. Like, look at that. I don't know who designed them, but they're pretty fun. Okay, so this is my super cool card. This is almost cooler than the first one I made. Here's my nice little panel. When you look at this, you're gonna see double. Don't worry, I'm actually gonna redo this after my video and uh, we'll fix it, but I'll just kind of tack it down lightly. I like putting stamp and dimensionals on because I can pull pieces off and redo card bases if I make a boo-boo and I can't live with it. Okay, there we go. And then of course, to finish off this pretty card, I don't think it looks that bad, you know. I kind of like the fact that there's some different shading in these pastels, so I kind of use this one, sort of has more of a hint of blue. And then this goes into the Highland Heather. And that's kind of where I got that design. So I hope you enjoyed this stamp set. Um, I got some beautiful swaps done with it. Let me just show you these quick. This is some other things you can do. This is from Tina 
Oh, Tina, I forget your last name because it's changed and I knew you was something different. Tina Zink, I think she goes by. And then this one we made at my Wednesday morning card class last month. This one is from Dana Hancock. And then this one is beautiful. I think this is from someone on my team. I absolutely love this one too because we did team swaps. And I think that's it. Yeah, that's it for, oh, and I have this one too. So this just goes to show you the wide variety of beautiful cards you can make with this set. These are the ones we did today. So we did white embossing powder colored with alcohol blends, super simple masking technique. And then this one, seeing double card, or it looks like this. So embossing with memento black powder and using the, um, the Stamparatus. Okay, guys, so if you liked any of these products, you wanted to place an order, you can go to karinachin.stampinup.net. This is a February hostess code. If you like or share my video, I would truly, truly appreciate it, especially on YouTube. I still need close to 300 YouTube followers to do my videos live. And if you want my cheap chicken class because I mispriced it, right, this is what we're making. Everybody is welcome at my cheap chicken class. And you can just let me know if you want to attend. It's going to be run through Zoom and then uploaded onto the YouTube network. Okay, so I thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a fabulous day. Bye.